Hey, what's up? In the last part, we were just able to get our data nicely organized from our posts for our Reddit app. So we have everything organized in, a, in an object class where we have the post URL, the thumbnail, the title, the author, and the updated time. So now we're going to actually create our card view layout and use that data and print it into a card view in a list view. So let's actually create our card view layout first of all. Go to new layout resource file, go card layout main. And I'm going to be basically just looking at my GitHub for um, for my card view tutorial. It's going to be exactly the same. So let me see here. Where is my? Go to the card view tutorial here. Click on card view, and I'm going to be basically copying and pasting a ton of information just from here. So we can go into app. Let's go into source uh, main and open that up in a new tab. Oh, before I forget, let's grab the um, dependencies. So go into the manifest. No, not the manifest, what am I doing? Go into um, the build.gradle file, wherever that is, here it is, your build.gradle file. And let's go down and we'll grab the, oh yeah, we'll grab the Im image loader also. So we'll just copy both those dependencies and go back to Android Studio, go to the build.gradle app folder and go down here. There we go, we have our card view and we have our uh, universal image loader. I don't think we need this plus. What version am I using? 25.1.0. It's probably fine if I do that. Oh, whoops, got to change it to 25. That's what it is. So 25.1.0. Okay, let's sync that. And we got our universal image loader down there. All right, so we're done in the build.gradle. Now we'll go back to the GitHub page here. And that is not the GitHub page. Let's go back to the GitHub page and close the Gradle. And let's go into layout and I think we're going to activity main and I'm just going to copy all this and I'm going to take a look at it after and change it so copy all of activity main go back to our reddit app and let's just post it here and open up our preview okay so there's our card view all right but we're going to have we have a bunch of different parameters we have title author date uh, post url and thumbnail so let's see how do I want to do this change this to a relative layout and we can get rid of this orientation and go down to our image view let's just make we'll actually make this 70 dp because we kind of just want a little a little square where the thumbnail is going to be so we we don't really need a big thumbnail and we'll do also 70 dp for the width we just want a little like a little icon sort of thing and we want it we want the icon to be over on the left hand side then we want the the title the author the date all on the right hand side here. So we'll actually create another relative layout and do uh, match parent and wrap content. And then we're gonna throw this text view, oops, this text view inside of this relative layout. And then I'm actually gonna orient this relative layout to the right of the card image. So there we go. And this is way too big. I guess we can just do wrap content. And then we'll come down here and change these both to wrap content, wrap content. There we go. So that looks better. Now we have our little thumbnail here and we have our card title at the top. Okay, we're going to need two more text views. So we'll create another text view. Wrap content, wrap content should be fine. And we'll set some text size to go 12 SP and set the text to be the author. And this is going to be uh, below the card title and maybe the gravity to center vertical. And of course I need an ID. So I can go card author as the ID. And let's put a margin on the top. It's pretty close to that title. Just do like 3DP. And that should be good enough. And then I'm gonna copy this and it's gonna be pretty much the same for the updated. So copy that and go card, card updated. And we're gonna put it below the card author and we're gonna say updated for the text and how does that look that's okay I kind of like to put a little bit of a margin up top here so margin top just do like 5 dp and that should be okay and the last thing we need to add is a progress dialog or a progress bar so we'll go progress oops, progress bar and this is gonna be 50 dp and 50 dp whoops and I'll give it an ID whoops card progress dialog and center horizontal true oops 
and let's do center vertical. True. So it's kind of just going to be sitting in the middle, and this is just going to show when our when our cards are loading. All right, so that should be okay. Actually, let's add a margin. So let's go just the tight margin, and maybe five dp. There we go. So it's kind of sitting in the center now. And let's see this. I want to do a small margin on the left. Let's do five dp maybe, and that should be good. That's that's good enough. We can we can tweak it if we need to, but that's generally how I want it. So that's fine. We'll close the card layout. Now we're going to go into activity main and quickly just throw in a list view. That's all we need in here. So I'm just go. Uh, let's do list view and match parent match parent and give it an ID of list view. And that's all for now. Later we'll add the other subreddits, but just for this. Um, We'll just use the list view and we can change this to a relative layout. We don't need this to be a constraint layout. Okay, we're done in activity main. Now let's go back to main activity. We'll go down below and below here. This this we don't actually need either because we've already we've already printed out our data. We already know what it looks like. That was just for taking a look kind of at finally what it looked like. And if you want to, you can go into here and comment. Actually, yeah, I will just comment all these out because it's just gonna slow down our app. We can uncomment these for debugging if we need to later, so that's fine. And now we'll create our list view. So list view, list view equals list view, find you by ID, or ID dot list view, import the list view library, and then we're gonna create a custom, uh, custom, what do we call it? Let's go to the GitHub page actually and just see what I called it there. We'll call it the exact same thing. So we'll go to here, custom list adapter dot Java. So I'm going to call it exactly the same thing. I'll copy that uh, Reddit app, custom list view adapter, custom list view adapter equals new custom. I can just paste it actually. And it's going to take the context. So main activity dot this, and then our layout file. So r dot layout dot card layout main. And then we just pass our posts list. So this is going to be all of our posts. And then we just do list view dot set adapter and pass our custom adapter. Except that's it there. Okay. So now we just need to create this class and that should be good. So let's copy that. Go up here, create a new Java class, paste. And we'll go to our GitHub page. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing and I'll edit it as we need to. So copy and paste. And let's go up to the top, uh, change the object, it's gonna be a post object. So inside the view holder, we need to match whatever our post objects are. I could just copy all these actually. Let's just copy that and go in there and we'll get rid of all these privates because we won't wanna be able to reference them easy. I don't wanna make getter and setter methods, so we can just do, do that. I don't need the post URL in here, um, but what I do need is the progress bar. So progress bar progress bar and uh, let's take this we don't need to set up the image loader every time this runs that was a mistake I made in that tutorial so we can just set up the image loader once and change this to post and let's scroll down keep going okay so these methods are going to need to be changed um, this is going to be get thumbnail URL for the image um, string author equals get item position get author and what else do we got? We got our date updated equals get, oops, item position get date updated. And we got the title and then we just need the, no, we don't even need to declare the progress bar, that's fine. So that's good for now. Let's go down here and all right, we have different, oh, whoops, I declared these strings. Ah, the text views. Text view, text view, text view, image view. That's good, okay. So there we go, that red goes away. Um, let's, whoops, what is this? It's holder thumbnail URL. So thumbnail URL, holder dot author equals, actually I could just copy this, probably much faster, card author. Next one is holder dot updated equals so the card 
updated. So we have title, thumbnail, author, updated, and then we just need the progress bar. So holder dot uh, progress bar, post that, and card progress dialog. And that is angry because I have this set to a text view. What? Progress bar. Oh. Okay, and I'm gonna comment out the animation. I actually don't really like the animation, so we're gonna leave it out. And then we need to set the text here. So title, author, author, and this one will be updated, and date updated. Okay, and then we come down to our image loader and we're gonna need to, to import this image failed image. So let's go to our drawables folder. Go to new image asset, go to action bar tab icons, and we're just gonna select a uh, default image for when it's loading. So I'm just gonna grab this one right here. I'm gonna call it image failed, and that should be good. There we go. So now we're gonna have that image failed in our drawables folder, which is fine. Uh, this is all just universal image loader stuff. Change that to our thumbnail. And now we're gonna have to change some options here for the uh, universal image loader. So in my card view tutorial, I didn't actually go over this, so it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna to have to go to the universal image loader library. So universal image loader, and we'll go to the GitHub page. And on the GitHub page, it tells you how to set it up. So let's see, where are all the methods? Here they are. So we can just grab all these. So what I have currently right now in there is just this section right here. So we need to grab all of this right here. So we can just copy that and go back and just paste it in there and import everything that we need. And actually what I don't need is this progress listener. So I can delete all that, delete all these ellipses. And oh, there's a lot of brackets here. I don't think I need that. Okay, that's fine. So now all these methods we're gonna to use to set up our progress bar. So on, on loading started, we can go call our holder, a new holder dot progress bar, and do set the visibility. So set visibility and go view dot visible. And this is red because it's not final. Yep, so we need to go up here to where we declare our view holder, we go final, because it's being used inside of an override method. And I'm gonna copy this and on loading failed. We're gonna to want to set it as gone. If loading failed, we wanna show the default image. We wanna make sure the progress bar goes away. So we can set this to gone. And on loading complete, we can also set it to gone. And on loading canceled, we would also set it to gone. That should be good. Let's go over to into main activity and yep, the red goes away. And I think that should be good. I don't. Uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head now, so let's run it and let's take a look at the app and see what we got. So everything looks good except for these thumbnails. It's pulling the same thumbnail over and over again. And I don't see that loading animation or the loading progress dialog box either. So, okay, so let's first check out this thumbnail. So let's go into main activity and we'll uncomment this and let's take a look and see um, if we're actually pulling a different thumbnail URL each time or if it's pulling the same one. So let's look at the log. Oh, I see. It's pulling the same post and the same image each time. Okay, so let's go here. And that's why. Because we're not iterating through each one of our entries. So if we change this to I, then we're iterating. We were looking at the exact same entry each time. The only reason this was working is because here we were iter iterating through the entries. So that was fine. So let's run this again and take a look now that we've changed that. There we go, so now we have we have our loading animation, we have our progress bar showing, and we can see it's pulling a different thumbnail, and let's just go down and double check into the log to make sure it's pulling different information, and um, that one is different than that one, and yes, they're all different. So that's good, so it looks like everything is working the way it should be. All right, so in the next one, I'm gonna actually build that search bar at the front that I showed you in the very first demo video where we can change so we can actually change the, uh, the URL. Because right now what we're doing is we're just looking, uh, nope, I don't need that. Right now all we're doing is we're looking at the Reddit RSS feed, but we're just looking at one RSS feed. We're looking at the Earth Porn RSS feed. So I'm gonna show you how to make, uh, make it dynamic so that we can actually change it in the app and we can change it to whatever RSS feed we want and then display that RSS feed here.
and you'll find that it's going to be surprisingly simple. We're basically just going to add an edit text, edit text field at the top. We're going to be able to refresh that edit text field, and it will refresh our card view. There's almost there's barely anything we need to add in here. It's very just minor few changes. If this video is helpful, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.